A short while after Jesus was tested in the desert, he went to visit Simon. Simon's mother-in-law had a fever and they asked Jesus to do something for her. Jesus stood over her and healed her instantly. Word got out of the healing and many people brought their sick friends and family to Jesus. Not long after, Jesus was at the shore of a lake and a crowd grew and grew and were pushing him closer to the water. He saw some boats tied up and climbed into one. It was Simon's and Jesus used the boat as a stage and taught the crowd from it. When he had finished teaching, Jesus told Simon to head out in the deep water and let his nets out for a catch of fish. But master, we've been fishing hard all night and haven't caught a thing, replied Simon. But if you say so, I'll do it. Simon did as Jesus suggested and within moments the nets were full to capacity. So much so, Simon had to get more fishermen to help him with the catch. He was so amazed and fell to his knees in awe. Jesus said to him, from now on, you'll be a fisher of men. And that's what Simon became. He was one of Jesus' first disciples. This meant that Simon got to follow Jesus around as he performed miracles and taught people about the kingdom of heaven. Simon witnessed some of the incredible miracles that Jesus did, and in days to come, he would also perform miracles. After some time of ministry, Jesus changed Simon's name to Peter, saying, Upon this rock, I will build my church. What Jesus spoke of Peter's life became true. Peter played a crucial part in the spread of the message of Jesus. He helped found the church in Antioch and in Rome. Peter performed miracles in the name of Jesus. One of the most well-known miracles is when he and John came across a beggar asking for money outside the temple. To which Peter responded, I don't have silver or gold, but what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, walk. Peter took the man by his right hand and instantly the man's feet and ankles became strong. He jumped to his feet and began to walk. Then he went with Peter and John into the temple courts, walking and jumping and praising God. It's extraordinary how a fisherman could encounter Jesus and be set on a pathway to play a part of the growth of the kingdom of God. You see, throughout the Bible, God worked through ordinary and unlikely people in incredible ways. You and I are just as ordinary and just as unexpected. So imagine what God can do through us.